Local 2 Weather Authority Forecast. Well, good morning. Meteorologist Chase Menendez here. Some cloudy conditions on the way today. Already starting to see some of those clouds roll in from the west. Actually, a little bit of rain popping up here, a little bit north of Lajitas. It could be a little bit of feedback on the radar, but I'm not so sure anymore. It seems to be sticking around, moving like rain should. So maybe seeing a little light drizzle out there. We are definitely going to see an increase in some rain chances, but we're also going to see an increase in temperatures. Right now, those temperatures in the 30s for a lot of us. 38 in Odessa Midland, 41 in Wink for Pecos as well. Marfa below freezing this morning, 30 degrees for them. Now, that's actually slightly warmer than what we've seen yesterday, even if it is still really cold out there. We're seeing a warm up about one degree here for Marfa, nine degrees for Wink. Odessa Midland, Big Springs staying pretty much the same over what we saw yesterday, but still very, very chilly. Now, changing it up are the wind speeds. We're going to see those actually pretty calm for the northern and central basins, but down to the south, places like the Davis Mountains, seeing some pretty high wind speeds, especially by this afternoon. Those are going to jump up into the 20s, 18 miles per hour here for Alpine, 17 there for Presidio. And again, as soon as we get into the evening hours, we'll see those jump up quite a bit. Alpine to 28 miles per hour by 9 p.m. Going to be very breezy, very blustery, especially for the northern and central basins. We'll see those wind speeds about 10 to 15 miles per hour, so a little bit windy, but nothing we can't handle here. Now, also notice the wind direction coming out of the southeast, making its way up to the northwest. That's going to allow some moisture to be pulled in from the Gulf of Mexico later on. Now, right now, we're just seeing really dry conditions. Do points in the teens for a lot of us. Fort Stockton at 22. Even that, really dry. And with that dry air, it's going to act kind of like a dry sponge and allow that moisture to be pulled in and sucked into West Texas. Now, it's going to be delivered by this high pressure over here. This high pressure spinning clockwise, allowing some of that flow from the Gulf of Mexico to make its way into West Texas, starting off as cloud cover, but transitioning into some rain chances later on for this weekend. Saturday morning, seeing the highest chance for that off to the south. Now, if this high pressure decides to move a little bit slower or build a little bit more, we could see those rain chances transition up to parts of the northern central basin. I say about a 20% chance here for Odessa Midland to see some of that rain. But as we get on into Saturday and Sunday, those rain chances diminish, just kind of turn into a little bit of cloud cover. Now, as far as temperatures go, again, it's really cold this morning, but we're actually pretty close to average. Yesterday, our high temperature got up to 64 degrees, normal 66, so we were just shy of that, just a little bit below there. Now, today, forecast high 63 degrees, normal jumping up to 67. As we get closer to summer, we're going to see that normal rise a couple of degrees every couple of days, and today is one of those days. We saw it jump up from 66 to 67, so we're even slightly below average for today, and we're going to start to see a rise up into average and even above average. Look at Monday's high temperature, 80 degrees. Now, until we get there again, 63 today, about a 20% chance for rain tomorrow for Odessa Midland. More chance as we transition further to the south, and then the high is going to slowly rise from there and then back off for Tuesday.